Welcome to Faith Temple Lighthouse Church, 7000 Bennett Street, Pittsburgh, PA, in Homewood. Our pastor is Elder Joseph Long, and our services start at 1030, and that's our Sunday school. Our Sunday morning worship start at 1130, and our speaker today is um, Elder Long, and I want to say welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for Bishop Knox. Amen. And Praise the name of Elder Rice, Minister Rice. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you, you, and you. Amen. Um, the message I've been dealing with in the last few weeks, I said, you know, Lord, I need a word from you. Amen. Uh, it's not my word, it's God's word. That's right. And uh, when you put God first, Amen. I don't care what comes upon you. When I got Jesus, he's better than the whole world against me. I said he's better than the whole world against me. Amen. And I love the Lord because he first loved me. Amen. I got so many things, amen, my heart, amen, to say to you this Sunday morning. Amen. But I congratulate. Amen. I give God the praise and give him the glory. Amen. Uh, we need something to fight the devil with. That's right. Brethren, I don't know about you, but I'm fighting him every day. My Lord. Uh, he's not taking a break, so you shouldn't take a break. That's right. Just imagine if God took a break, he killed, the devil killed all of us. Y'all don't hear me. Come on. Y'all don't hear me. The Sunday school lesson was put on the whole arm of God that you be able to stand in this evil day. I said, this is an evil day. I said, this is an evil day. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but a spiritual wickedness in high places. I don't know about you, but you... You know, the news and the current affairs, amen, all you hear about is Donald Trump. People would rather believe a lie. You hear what I said? People would rather be, believe a lie yes, Lord. rather than truth. And we're in that day. The devil don't put on a, don't come with a red suit and a tail and horns on his head. The Bible said <laughs> he, can, he can look like saints, speak in tongues. Right. Y'all don't hear me. The devil's a show person. He ain't shy about nothing. Praise the name of our God. If he, woo, if he fooled one third of heaven. What about you? Yes, Lord. He fooled one third of heaven. Angels. That's right. Created a holy. One third. I don't know how many people, angels is that, but one third of heaven, God kicked him out. That's right. He kicked him out of heaven. Yeah. And the Bible says he's a God of this world. In the name of Jesus. Can we turn to the book of Romans? And starting at verse 8, 18. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to keep my composure because I'm excited about God's word. I'm excited about what he's doing. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Whatever God does, he does it better than the devil. Hallelujah. God has never let the devil out to him. Y'all don't hear me. I said y'all don't hear me. God will never let the devil out to him. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. God, when God bless you with the Holy Ghost, he gave you some power. Resist the devil and he'll flee. I said, 
somebody had people having conversation with the devil, don't have no conversation with him. <laughs> Praise the name of our God. The 18th 18, 18 verse. I'm trying to keep my composure. My God, but I'm excited about the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's already done and what he's going to do. Look at somebody and say, God is here to bless you. I say, God is here. Come on, look at somebody and say, God is here to bless you. To bless you. If you know you're going to be blessed for God, give God a praise. I say, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Yeah, my, son. my Lord, my Savior, my God, my Lord. Jesus, it's time to be excited. I got a heart, a pacemaker, and a fibrillator. So when it, the fibrillator is, when, when the pacemaker gets out of tune, it gives me a shock to put it back in. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Y'all need some shocks. Yes, sir. You need some shocks to teach you. My God, every now and then, you need God to teach you. Put a shock in you. Praise the name of our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If I leave here, it won't be because I don't love the Lord. I love the Lord with all my heart. I, I love him more than I love my wife. I love my wife, but I don't love him more. Never love her more than God. Hmm. I love my wife. This she is right there. I love my wife, but I don't love her more than Jesus. Jesus don't get, got me a mansion in the sky. My wife ain't got no mansion in the sky for me. Y'all don't hear me. Praise the name of our God. Only the faithful are going to make it. That's, that, that scripture, amen, that we taught in Sunday school, put on the whole arm of God that you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Jesus, Jesus. That's a whole mouthful, Bishop. We're wrestling. The Bible said, devil, the devil is a God of this world. And God said in heaven, he said, if there's another God, I don't know him. I'm in heaven. I, I control everything. And if there's another God, I don't know him, my sister. <laughs> there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I, I, you know, I, I got I got to say this. Go ahead, go ahead. I know a lot of times, Amen. We miss the beginning, the start, and, and what I mean by that, I know a whole lot of folk talk about the baptism in Jesus, which is good, but you got to repent. You got to know why you're getting baptized. Anybody can get baptized. Uh, yes, sir. But if you got to if you repent, you know why you're getting baptized. That's right. Because we go down, amen, a wet devil and come out of Oh, y'all don't hear me. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Everything's gonna change. Uh-huh. But you gotta repent. You know what repentance means? Godly sorrow. I'm sorry, Lord, for what I've done. The only one we have sinned against is God. I ain't sinned about you. That's right. That's right. The only one I sinned against is God. That's right. It's time for us to learn to repent. Lord, I'm sorry. A godly sorrow. You know what a godly sorrow is? It'll make a cry sometimes. Down on the inside, it'll make you cry. Yes, yes. The things I've done against God and God forgave me. Yes, sir. Look at my God. Yes, we do, we done some nasty stuff yes, sir. Yes, sir. before we got saved. Amen. Amen. 
I love my wife, but I ain't telling her some of the things. You all don't hear me. Praise the name of my God. I confess to the Lord of my sins. And we all come short. We all have come short. I said we all have come short. We can do better. We can praise God a little bit better. Praise the name of our God. I'm tired of folk sitting here like ain't nothing happening. God is a good God. Oh God, he woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. I got something to thank God for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fixed on this. If God gave you the Holy Ghost every now and then, it should touch you. Oh, my God, my God. Come on, Pastor. Preach. God. This ain't no uh, silent church. That's right. If you want to be silent, go home. You come to church to pray to God. I said, we come to church to pray to God. Praise the name of God. That's all. I don't know what you come to do. I didn't come to look at uh, 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 Starsky and Hutch. Amen. Y'all, y'all don't hear me. There's some stuff we look at TV, on TV, and I know some of the stuff I shouldn't be watching. That's some dirty stuff. We haven't got to the scripture yet, but my God. Homosexuality is running rampant. A man loving another man. What in the name of God? How in the name of God you can call a man beautiful? I can't look at other cars and he's a handsome man. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm going to call him beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Devil is a liar. My God. Yeah. That's things I tell my wife. Yeah. Y'all don't hear me. That's right, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. And two women loving each other. Oh, God. How, how can they procreate with two women and two men? How did you get here? God made man and woman to procreate. Oh God, we have we haven't even got to the. Oh God! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let, let the, the Bible said, "For I reckon." <laughs> I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. I reckon. This is another scripture we're going to use in the book of Acts and the book of Corinthians if I have time. Amen. But a subject matter is three things. From suffering to praise and deliverance. From suffering to praise and deliverance. Thank God, my God. We're all going to suffer. You might as well get ready. Because holiness, holiness is going to cost you something. My, my, my. When I first got saved, I, I lost a lot of friends. That's right, that's right. I never forget, I was going to Bible study one night, and I loved basketball, and I uh, played high school and college and semi-pro. Yeah. Amen, praise the name of our God. And, and one guy saw me, I was going to church about six, 7 o'clock, 7.30, and I saw him, he said, come on, Joe, you're going to go up to basketball, you're going to play some ball. I said, no, I'm going to Bible study. He looked at me. <laughs> he said, you 
going where? I said, I'm going to Bible study. And it's right around the corner here. And he said, you're not going to play in the ball today? I said, no. I'm going to hear what God got to say to my spirit. And I haven't seen that brother since. Y'all don't hear me. I was 21, 22 years old. And I lost a friend because he didn't like what I said. He, because they hung out in bars, he used to like to play pinochle. I, I used to love before, I, but pinochle wasn't wasn't on my mind when I went to Bible study. Yeah, I, heard you, I wanted to hear God's word. Right. Teach me to number my days that I may apply my heart to wisdom. Come on. Come on. You know what reckon mean? I'm considering. I'm thinking. On the Lord Jesus Christ. I reckon that the suffering of this present time. We get to heaven, we ain't gonna be talking about what we had, what we did, and and how how we got over. We thank God we've got over and we're in heaven. We're not gonna be talking about what we went through down here. Everything will be brand new. Everything. But I reckon, I reckon I'm considering the things that I'm going through. And I'm going through some stuff physically. But I know God, I just believe God's going to heal me of this type 2 diabetes before I leave here. I just believe it. Some way, somehow, God going to heal me of the seropathy. And, and I feel like I'm walking on rocks every day. But I'm here in Jesus' name. And I hurt sometimes. I got pain like you. I got some things I got to get through. But you know what I've learned? When God delivers me from something, Amen. Praise the name of our God. It's time to give God the praise. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, Because the devil know you. Before you got saved, the devil knows you. You hit. We was his people. And he's trying to get us back. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the devil wants to do to you. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on and give God a prayer. (laughs) Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Oh my God. Uh, there, There was Paul in the book of Acts. I believe the 16th chapter. Praise the name of our God. Amen. Uh, and they were talking about the Lord and, and they, they, con- they confused the people, not confused them, but people were relieving what they say. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and the magistrates uh, and the guards, amen, yeah. heard them talking about Jesus. Amen. Convincing them that what they had, uh, amen, oh my God, uh, was it true what you got. Amen. And it changed the whole city. Praise the name of our God. The magistrates and them got mad at them and threw them in prison. My God. Told you, told you, shut up. Don't be talking about this word. But they realized they had been with Jesus. When you've been with Jesus, your whole mind, your conversation changes, your attitude changes. You, oh my God, my God! It changes your heart, mind, and spirit. Yes, Messiah. It changes you. I said it changes you, young folk. You need to stop what you're doing. That's wrong. Lying and cheating. And that goes for adults too. I'm so tired of these false preachers in the pulpit. 
My God, seeing all kind of stuff. And people are believing them. People rather believe a lie rather than the truth. Some people think they can pay the way to heaven. God don't need your money. Uh, 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 may I say it again? Amen. God is not a banker. <laughs> Drawing interest off your money. In the name of Jesus. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Thinking God needs money. Well, I'm going to take my Cadillac to heaven. You ain't taking nothing to heaven. The Bible said, why gain this whole world and lose your soul? They were thrown in prison. And at midnight, they started praying and singing in prison. It was so loud, the guards heard them. And one guard... Amen. Excuse me. The, the gates were open, uh-huh. and, and and the God thought it, it was on him because they would have killed him because they escaped. Right. And Paul and him said, "Hold up, man. You don't have to do that. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Praise the name of our God, but the God that we serve yeah. really let us out of prison. But we're, we're not going. Yeah, we're not going to change your life." Praise the name of our God. And the Bible said he was changed. The God got saved. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Changed his heart. Changed his mind. You got to learn to live like God wants you to live. Our our testimony, the Bible said, we overcome by one another's testimony. You need to testify what God has been doing. Praise the name of our God. I, I love Sister Lisa. See, I know her. I, I raised her up in the, in the church, in Sunday school, and Bible study, and, 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 and two times, not one time. Is that right, Sister Lisa? Legs were broken. Y'all don't hear me. Car squeezed her legs, and it broke both of them. I remember Mother Jennings called me and said, my daughter can't walk, and... God, uh, the car crushed her legs. And I said, Mother, let's pray. Praise the name of our God. And then she said, at the end, she said, it's, she's in God's hand. I reckon that the suffering to this present time are not worthy to be mentioned. Praise the name of our God. And it's time for us to get excited about what God has done for us. How do people know that God's been good to you by you telling them? Every people I meet, amen. I was in the ICU a few months ago. Amen. For my fibrillator, for my pacemaker. And and, uh, this one uh, Caucasian lady came in and I got to talking to her, and every day she was in my room because I told her about Jesus. Amen. And she, Sister Lisa works in I see you, uh, older, older lady, amen. She was, a, I think she was a nurse, amen, President of our God. She was, every day, she was coming to hear what I got to say about Jesus. Amen. You got to live the life that is well pleasing right. in God's sight. Right. I considered what I've been through. Yes, and I consider that God's been good to me. Yes. I said, God has been good to me. Yes. God has been good to me. Yes. God has been good to me. Yes. Yes. Yilamosa, glory be to our God. Isalamosa, yes, my Savior, and my Lord. This ain't no plaything. This ain't no plaything. I'm not playing with God in that kind of way. 
my soul is important. We all are going to spend eternity somewhere. Ain't no middle ground. Yeah, Ain't no purgatory. Ain't no soft prison. The Old Testament, when they were thrown in prison, you know what they were thrown in prison? Uh, they just showed how prison looked at that time. Dear number one and number two, it wasn't no toilets there. God on here. Can you imagine the smell? Jesus. I say, can you imagine the smell of number one and number two in the same place with no Febreze? No air freshener. And probably no windows. <laughs> and you stepped up there in a jail cell yeah. with many prisoners. Right. Help us, Lord. Help us. Mm -hmm. Rocks. They want no soft beds. Mm -hmm. Sleeping on rocks. The early church went through some things. They were thrown in prison where lions and tigers was hungry. Mm -hmm. And Paul, before he got converted, was one of the ones that killed folk. Paul was no nice guy before he got saved. Because he believed in the law. And he didn't believe that people could get saved, sanctified, amen, and wasn't a Jew. Y'all don't hear me. You're in the book. You're in the book. Good God from Zion. You got to know what you're in. Yes, Lord. I said, you got to believe what you're in is right. Because right. there's some nasty stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Preachers are messing with children. Big time bishops, homosexual, laying with people, right, another man. That's right. Something's out of order, my sisters. Something is out of order. Out of order. Out of order. <laughs> and you leading all these people, and you laying with somebody, some uh, 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 sister, uh, the son. My God. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. The God of this world. It blinded people's eyes. I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy. When I get to glory, I'm not going to mention it down here. I'd be so happy to get to heaven. And, and I like what that little rhyme uh, is not scripture. Every day will be Sunday and Sabbath when they have no end. They ain't no scripture for that. <laughs> so don't go in the Bible and try to find it because it's not in the Bible. Amen. Somebody put a couple words together and it sound good. <laughs> I, heard, I heard a number of years ago, Mr. Van Elder, uh, I heard a number of years ago some preacher said at a funeral, I said, oh, man, I went home and looked for it. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I, because he didn't tell me it wasn't in there. That's right. I went home and studied the word. I said, wait a minute, where is it at? <laughs> All revelation and my God, I said, if any book is going to be, it's going to be a revelation. Man, I searched revelation. I said, what in the name? When I want the book of Titus and Jude, I said, my God, where, where is it at? Couldn't find it, Sister Joe. Every day will be Sunday 
and Sabbath will have no end. I look for the word that what that preacher was preaching. I should have called him up and said, man, where'd you find that at? <laughs> but I reckon of the suffering time is not worthy to be mentioned to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd be so glad I made it and to hear those welcome words. Well done. Well done. Well done. You hear what I'm saying? Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Praise the name of our God. I've been through some stuff, but I've been faithful. Praise the name of our God. Ain't time to give up now. Praise the name of our God. My first companion, amen, caused me to get saved. And she backslid, and she looked at me one day, and I touched her by the arm or shoulder. I said, let, let, you know, try to turn your, mm -hmm. your way of life. Because yeah. she was sneaking out and going and drinking and all that. And she wanted me to go one night. I said, I ain't going nowhere with you. <laughs> but she was going, to, and, and I, was, I wouldn't see her. I got two kids. Uh, two or three days, I didn't see her. Yeah. Praise the name of our God. I said, Lord, let's change. Let, you don't know, need to change. Let's go back to church. Come on back to church. She said, I'm going to leave you, and I'm going to leave God. I said, bye. Mm -hmm. Amen. And a few years later, she died. Oh, she was 46 years old. Oh, Y'all don't hear me. God gets tired of sin. It's not sins, it's sin. You never see a, a plural on sin, it's sin. Not sins, sin. Lying and backbiting. Talking about one another. War, people are having war in the church. Can I say this one thing? I was in the church one day and one Sunday morning and after the message two sisters were didn't like whatever was going on and, yeah, yeah. and, and, and one sister slapped her. I said, in church after the message. And the other sister said, let's take this outside. I said, Take what I, they didn't want to go out and fight after a Sunday morning service and want to take it outside. I don't know what Alexa remember that. Take it outside. And I said, what? And she said it loud where everybody can hear it. Because she didn't care. She was smacked by the other sister. And she said, we're going to take this outside. This ain't, this ain't ending. I said on a Sunday morning after the message, <laughs> I, I was astonished because I was newly saved. I said, I, I didn't know action like this happened in church. Just take it outside. But I reckon of this present time is not worthy to be mentioned. Amen. And whatever you're going through, people of God, give God the glory. Amen. Give him the praise. Thank him for getting over the test and trial right. that you've been through. Thank you, How did God know that you're praising him because he knows your heart? Yeah. He knows what you're meaning or not. Praise the name of our God. People are uh, 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 saying a lot of stuff and don't mean nothing because they're going back and do the same thing over again. Praise the name of our God. God, keep my mind in perfect peace whose mind is still on the Lord. I, I pray that prayer. I pray that prayer. Keep my mind. I don't want to lose it. 
because I've been to the places. Amen. Praise the name of our God. And my wife is a nurse, and she she tells me little stories about nursing homes and people losing their mind. And I said, my God. Praise the name of our God. They don't know where they're at. And Sister Lisa, Sister Lisa, I got to talk about you. She said there was a woman in there at one time, and she said the woman had her breasts cut off because she wanted to be a man. I said, what? <laughs> There's some nasty stuff going on, and people are losing their mind. Any time a woman want her breast to be cut off to look like a man, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I'm considering it, but God keep me, God keep me, keep my mind, bless me when I go out and come in. Thank him for what he's done and what he's doing. Come on and give God a praise. If God does something for you, give God a praise. If God has been good to you, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Shut up. Shut up. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. He's worthy. I say he's worthy. Before you leave here, you need to give God a praise. My God. Jesus. Is anybody here that love my Jesus? Is anybody here that love my Lord? <laughs> I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know. Come on, everybody say, my Lord. Well, is anybody here that love my Jesus? Is anybody here that love my Lord? I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord.